Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am gonna be sharing with you all today at the suggestion of one of my lovely subscribers, just an updated what's inside of my kitchen drawers and cabinets. So in case you are needing a little bit of motivation, while you are at home to get your kitchen a little bit more organized then hopefully this video will be able to provide a little bit of that motivation i love everything about organization and you guys know that this is kind of how i started my channel just sharing different spaces that i was organizing so if you want to see more content with me organizing spaces be sure to smash that like button down below so i'll know that this is what you want to see all right let's jump in i'm going to share with you everything that's in my drawers and cabinets and the pantry you guys have seen before nothing much has changed there so we'll not do that in this video all right guys so let's start right over here in this cabinet nothing much has changed from this cabinet you guys remember this before and it's pretty much stayed the same this is what we drink out of mason jars and these little lids that i have on all of my jars came from walmart and i think they're still available but that's where i got them and then up top i just have my mugs this cabinet has definitely not changed this is our medicine cabinet and up here we just have some things for cold and flu pain and fever and then down below is our supplement basket and you guys know these are just some little liners that i had in another basket from i think target these little label holders by the way came from target this cabinet here has changed quite a bit I got rid of a lot of dishes. This cabinet now has all of my dinnerware in it. I used to have dinnerware back here as well, but you guys will see when we get to that cabinet, there's no longer any dinnerware in that cabinet. So let me share with you guys what I've done in this cabinet, okay? Everyday dishes on this. This, my friends, is actually supposed to flip and be horizontal instead of vertically. But I decided to do vertical because I wanted to be able to put our bowls on there and stack them. I don't know, I just thought it would look so neat and kind of like, you know, you're just walking into like a store to shop. I like all of my stuff to just kind of look storefront. And this is actually a pot. I think it's a, I think it's, it's not a pot and pan holder. I think you can either do like cutting boards or you can put like your cooking lids on it. If you guys can see the way this cabinet is shaped, that space in the back was just like dead space and I didn't really know what would look good aesthetically back there. So I thought, oh, that'd be something cool to put in there. And then this is where I keep my salad bowls. Y'all, I love eating salad out of big bowls. And then there's one more salad bowl that goes here and um, it's in the dishwasher right now. These are my porcelain strainers. I love, um, I love these. They're so beautiful. And I got these off of Amazon in case you're wondering. And they're by, what is this? Everyday, everyday white porcelain. But I love these because they are so like pretty that if I'm serving or if I'm doing something in terms of having friends or family over, I can put like fruit in there and rinse it off and then just leave it on the table. They're so pretty. So I love these, love these, love these, love these. And then this is just the rest of our little dinnerware that we eat off of. And I was really, really pleased because like I said before, I had dinnerware in not only this cabinet but i had it all back there as well and so it just really made my heart glad to be able to minimalize my plates and i still feel like i have a lot but i've minimalized them to the best of my ability and i may come back and do another swoop of just kind of decluttering and getting rid of things all right guys so we're moving on over here don't judge me this is a lot of stemware and glassware. I, I do know, but let's take a look. Nothing has really changed in this cabinet. I have gotten rid of a few glasses, but for the most part, you guys probably can't even tell. Uh, I still have a lot of glassware that I, I just, I have this um, glassware right up here is from my wedding. So I definitely don't feel like I'm going to be getting rid of that. And it's just so much of it, guys. And it is so 
heavy. It is so heavy. Like I never, we never even use this, but I definitely won't be getting rid of it. Um, but this is where I keep all of my glassware. And you guys have seen all of the upper cabinets over here. Oh, right up here. That is just where I have water stored in glass containers and then some bottled waters over there. So let's go under the sink here. You guys have seen under my sink before and it is pretty much the same. It is just all of my Mrs. Meyers cleaning products and just some napkins. I have my scissors hanging here on the door. This is where we keep our garbage bags. I have a lot of different risers just to be able to maximize all of the space here vertically. This is actually just a plate stand. Dish cloths and candles down here. I have some dishwashing pods in this. And this is just an old egg crate and I thought it would be perfect for under here to keep some of my additional cleaning sponges. All right, so right down here, I actually just decided to make this a little area for when I wash dishes here in the sink, I can put them right down here just to strain. So that's what I've done here. This drawer right next to the sink has definitely changed. So this is where I'm storing all of my essential oils. I think before when I did the tour, I had like band aids and things for little scrapes and bruises that happened because my girls were a lot younger then. Right over here is just where I have some little notepads. I have some colored pencils. Usually during the school year when the girls are actually in school, I have like stickers here because this is the area where I write their little notes to put in their lunch boxes. This is also where I keep my meal planner and shopping list. And for some reason, I have a lot of food receipts here. Please don't ask me why. <laughs> right down here in this drawer is pretty much nothing that I reach for often. It is our juicer and I also have some grocery bags down here. All right, in this drawer, this has definitely changed. This is where my daughters come in from school and they put their lunch totes and this is where all of their lunch containers go. So this has been such a lifesaver. I think before I had the girls storing their lunch totes in the pantry, but this is where they know to stop. As soon as they come home from school, they pull their book bags off, they put them on the mud bench, and they go ahead and they put their lunch totes here. And yeah, this is perfect. And just right down here on this shelf, I have my husband's lunch containers. I have a couple of like forks and spoons for the girls and then some glass containers for them as well like if they're carrying something to school that requires warming I try to put it in glass containers and then if it's something that doesn't need to be warmed they'll use their plastic containers here so yeah this is the little lunch area now let me say this for those of you who love organizing you do understand that you can organize a space but it may not be functional I say that often and that means it just doesn't flow well like you really have to think about your layout you have to think about where you're going to be doing what in your kitchen right so that you'll know exactly where items need to be one thing i love about the girls putting their items right here for school in terms of lunchbox and all of their lunchbox accessories is this is the area where i not only write their notes that go in their lunchbox but this is where i prep their lunch for school so in the morning I'm pulling things out of the refrigerator and I'm able to come right here and this is the area where I stay in terms of prepping their lunch boxes, writing their little notes for school and um, just pa packing everything up. So this is where it all happens. All right, and you guys know what's in this drawer because here is my coffee maker. These are just my coffee pods that go in my um, Nespresso. All right, I think we covered everything over here. So moving on along to this side of the kitchen. All right, are you guys ready to see what's in these cabinets? Because before these cabinets were full of serving ware and this cabinet was, I can't remember. I think this cabinet had like lunch boxes and lunch accessories. I think this cabinet had the lunch boxes before 
and some other things but this cabinet had serving wear and guess what it is now guys food this is where i keep all of <laughs> my extra food all right you guys know that when you go to the grocery store right about now it is good to be well stocked so this is where i'm keeping all of my food i have some extra water up here in those glass containers that i was telling you about but this is where i am storing all of our extra food now we do have a lot of this stuff in the pantry so this is kind of like my how do I say it? This is kind of like the overflow, you know, like overstock. This is the overflow here. Everything that is in here is already in my pantry. Um, you guys know I have the clear acrylic containers in the pantry, and this is just kind of like stuff that when we run out in the pantry, we can go back and get. Now, above the microwave, nothing has changed. This is still where I keep all of our cleaning supplies. You just want to make sure that if you have little kids, you're keeping all of your harsh chemicals and cleaning supplies out of the way. So this is just where I have our cleaning supplies. I have some tiles here for spills, gloves. And so, yeah, this is where I keep all of my cleaning supplies. This cabinet has not changed. I can't really remember what I had in this cabinet before, but it's changed a little bit, guys. And this cabinet will be changing again. But for right now, this is where I'm keeping our spices and many of you guys know i have a designated drawer for spices but for some reason we stopped really letting that be our go-to area for spices i did some shifting around in my kitchen and i originally had these on the lazy susan and i moved them here and it just seemed to work a little better reaching for spices here but stay tuned because I am gonna be bringing you another video where I'm doing something totally different with my spice drawer and I'm excited. <laughs> all right, so now that we've done all of the upper cabinets on this side of the kitchen, let's start here. This has pretty much stayed the same. I just have all of our um, cutlery, silverware in this drawer. This drawer has definitely changed. I moved our um, metal straws here. These are just some little tester plates and um, little test tasting bowls. I have some measuring cups, bag clips for like chips and things, little measuring spoons for cooking, and um, these are just some little sampling spoons. All right, down here has changed as well. I have decided to, my Silplat baking mats and muffin holders here. And this is just where I have our oven mitts. And right up here, I have a few risers where I have some additional dishware, even on the other side as well. And in this drawer, all of our big spoons and things that I use for cooking and baking. So those of you who saw the old organization video, you know that this is where I have my spices, but this drawer, we don't even go in anymore. It really seriously needs to be revamped and redone. My little labels are pulling off. And like I said, I have an idea for this drawer. But um, yeah, you guys stay tuned for that. I'm not quite sure exactly the layout, but I'm gonna definitely be doing my spice drawer over. But right now, this is just where all of the old spices are and this drawer is gonna get some love and attention real soon. This drawer has not changed. This is where I have just our, um, a lot of our pots and pans. And then this is where the lids go. I keep a lot of my baking and cookie sheets just right here on the side. Now, my Lazy Susan has changed. I've decided to put a lot on the Lazy Susan. I have a food processor, glass bowls, mixing bowls, food strainer, a little blender, these are my salad spinners. And then down below, I have my Vitamix, 
I have cups that go along with the little mini mixer there. I have my Instapot right down here. Right here is where we keep our tea because we have our kettle right here. So I just wanted the tea to be very close by. This is my junk drawer for the girls. This is <laughs> where they throw all of their little crayons and scissors and glue because a lot of times they are here working at the kitchen table after school. So I just wanted them to be able to have their junk drawer with all of their little supplies close by. And right down here, I don't think anything has changed. This little holder that's on the door, I actually found at Goodwill and it was just like, I think a magazine holder to go like on a wall, but I used it here to just store a lot of our plastic lids. I've got a few pots up on the top shelf and I have more pots on this, some baking dishes on this one, and then a food shredder right there in the middle. All right guys, if you like this type of video, if you love organizational content, be sure to smash that like button down below so that I can know what type of content you want more of. Since so many people are at home right now watching YouTube, I wanna bring the content to you that you love. As always, thanks so much for watching today's video. Make your day beautiful, guys. The choice is yours. I'll see you all real soon. Bye.